MJF Goat, uh, congratulations. Um, tough field, but you really raced from the outset as you always do. You must be absolutely over the moon. Yeah, I'm so happy to repeat what I did last year down here. Tazzy, Devonport is one of my favourite races. Um, it's always treated me so well. I think it's just a course that really plays to my strength, so why wouldn't you take advantage of that? And uh, yesterday, you were the only girl we saw in the water without a wetsuit. <laughs> I know. What was the, what was the, the Do you know I got called out? I was complaining to the girls about how cold it was, and they go, we saw you swimming without a wetsuit. I was like, oh, yeah, it's pretty cold, though. Um, I, don't, I came from a surf life-saving background, so I think we're made pretty tough. So. <laughs> but uh, the wetsuit today, yeah. Yeah, so we were swimming in the wetsuit today. I think it warmed, I think it was about 18.5 in the water, so chilly, but I think it was just made that extra bit cold because we started it, you know, we're in the water at 7 o'clock, so. It must give you a great confidence boost to know that you can um, really nail that swim and, um, and set your race up. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it gives me confidence that my swim bike is still there. Um, definitely the run's been a focus to get better and better, and I think it's definitely coming along really well. But it's nice to know I've still got that bike, uh, swim bike there. And um, having the, the confidence of knowing what this race is all about, because yeah. you did it, dominated so, so much last year. Yeah, like last year I did it solo, swim, bike and run, and it was obviously Olympic, so double this distance. So I knew I could do tackle the course by myself. So, you know, um, I thought Nat might be there in the swim with me. So, you know, I said to her as soon as we came out of the water together, let's go like we're not waiting around and um it worked well for both of us and were you nervous coming in um i think you always get a little bit nervous it's definitely um it's a familiar race so it's certainly not that nerve-wracking i have my mom here so that's always a creature comfort and um pretty rare these days when you're traveling all over the world so it was nice and uh what's the plan for the uh, for the rest of the year uh for the rest of the year so i'm pretty busy racing um you know, I'm going to uh, the Gold Coast next weekend for Lucarup, and then I'll do Mooloolaba World Cup, the mixed team relay on the Gold Coast, New Plymouth World Cup, um, and then kind of take a bit of time to get a block of training in before going over to Europe via Yokohama World Series. And then um, hopefully on the Australian team again for the World Championship. Yeah, so it's my first year in the Elite, so I'm hoping to make that World Championship Elite team, get my Aussie number, and um, yeah, have a crack in September on the Gold Coast. It'll be a pretty special home World Championship, especially after the Com Games in April. Well done. Thank you.